Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are all having a wonderful Monday. Today we're going to be taking a look at my summer 2022 Crested Gecko sale. I'm going to be showing you guys some of the geckos I have up for sale and just some other changes I've made to my website to hopefully help you guys out. So before I get into showing you the geckos I have for sale this year, I want to show you something I've been working on for the last couple months and that is my breeders tab. Now why is this important? Well, if you're buying a gecko from me that was produced by me, chances are it has lineage. 99.9% .9 of the geckos I produce do. Um, I, I really try to keep track of that stuff and you know who the parents are, where they're from, that kind of thing. And I've been really working on acquiring lineage for the geckos that I do have so that you better get an idea where your geckos are coming from, who the parents were, you know, that kind of thing so you can really pick out parents and really try to produce the best geckos that you can. So in the past, you would have been coming to this page and you would have just been able to see the pictures here and the lineage that they have. But this year, I really worked on building it out. So if you click on any of the geckos, you should be able to go to their separate page and it will give you all their lineage again, maybe a little bit about them. But then you can also see all the parent pictures. And so you can really get an idea of the lines that the geckos are coming from, the geckos that you're buying from me, who the parents were, who the parents of the parents were, et cetera, et cetera. So for Crimson here, for example, you can see very nice red porthole. You can see he comes from a lot of red portholes all the way down the line. And I mean, I got lineage all the way back here. So this goes back like four generations. So you can see parents here, parents of the parents here. If you're looking at this on mobile, it's not going to give you the nice kind of pyramid scheme look, but you're still going to be able to see all the parent pictures. But like, for example here, why is lineage important? I thought this was pretty cool. So you can see on this male here from Rockstar Geckos named Elvis, you can see down in his lineage, he has this chowder sire here, right? Nice white extreme harlequin, which you probably wouldn't guess would go into a red phantom porthole. But when I was putting together lineage, this just kind of made me chuckle a little bit, right? So we got red phantom porthole here. If we go back to my breeders tab, we got one of my nice high white male breeders, right? So if you click on him, look at that. Chowder is related to this gecko, but also related to this red phantom. They both sit, they both share a similar grandparent, which I think is pretty cool because just by looking at them, you would have never known that. And so, you know, this is why lineage is important, et cetera, et cetera. We're going to talk about this in a different video, though. Let me show you the geckos I have for sale because otherwise I'm going to start rambling on even more. So we're just going to go over these all briefly. Here's a quick overview. And for all of you who have been asking me, Sam, where are the females at? I need some females. I got a great selection. I have a couple adults, a couple sub-adults, and a couple juveniles for you today, along with some unsexed and some males mixed in. So without further ado, let's start with our first female here, this nice proven lily white female. She is possibly gravid from Hellboy. She's laid a couple clutches, a couple bad, a couple good. She may lay one or two more, but most of my geckos are wrapping up their season here with four or five clutches already in the bag. So she's possibly gravid. You might get a fem uh, you might get an egg or two from her. It's hard to say, but very nice female, high white coverage, um, dripping down from the dorsal. She's got kind of a brown base color, but very cool nonetheless. Very nice thick pinstripe scales as well. Moving on to another gecko that was very hard to list. We have this very nice light base, very extreme harlequin. You can see almost no base color left, but she's a very light lavender um, crested gecko. You can see just a lot of cream in there, a lot of pattern, just a very, very nice extreme harlequin. Um, she was from King and Fall here, who are both from Pangea. She is not triple X line, but she's got enough pattern that you could be fooled by it. She also is possibly gravid. She's already laid five clutches though, so you may or may not get a egg out of her for free, but she's a very nice gecko, one Dalmatian spot. So definitely, definitely, definitely a top-notch extreme harlequin. Moving on to a lily white. This one was not produced by me. This was from Tiki's Geckos. This is a 20 gram male, very pretty male. Um, nice pinstripe going on, nice tricolor, dark base, very nice crisp white on this little male. Here's another proven adult female, again, possibly gravid, but also laid five clutches already. So you can see this one doesn't have quite as much pattern as the other one that I produced, but this one's got a nice dark base, which is a nice contrast to the other light base geckos that I have for sale. But again, another proven female that's available. Now moving on to some sub-adult females, we have these two here. Um, who are actually from this female here. So you can see that the 
light based color really traveled through well um, onto these two geckos, but let's just click on them quick. This is a 41 gram female. You can see she's got a little bit more cream, probably because Vector is a very nice high white animal. Um, she's got a very nice crest on her and just a lot of pattern as well, similar to the mom. This one, again, also similar to the mom, not as much cream on her, but still, or I mean, not as much white, but still a lot of cream and just a ton of pattern with that really light base. They don't fire up much darker than this. Again, very similar to the mom. Now this gecko is actually the same as these two and this female, she's from that female, but she got the dark base like her dad. She's got more white on her, more relevant to like the male here. You can see more white rather than that kind of creamy-ish color. I wouldn't say it's super crisp paper white, but it's definitely more white than it is creamy, even though I labeled it creamy extreme harlequin. It's more, it's similar to this rather than a cream color, but again, a very nice subadult female. Moving on to a juvenile female here from a different pairing. This is from Diamond and Catherine here. Um, this one might have a dark base, but I couldn't get her to fire up any darker than this, so it's kind of hard to say. But she's got a very nice bright orange color to her. Little cream starting to come in. She's only 21 grams, so it probably will develop a little bit more later on in the future. For our last juvenile female, we have this probable female from Tiki's Geckos. Almost a perfect pinstripe, very nice little female. She's missing one scale back here, but you can see very nice pinstripe scales, kind of a cool yellow creamyish pattern along the side here, more yellow than uh, creamyish, but nice extreme Harlequin pinstripe and it's a probable female. This guy right here is my red phantom male that's for sale. This guy is an absolute stud. He has produced basically all the red phantom geckos in my collection up to this point. Hence why I pretty much, I, I really don't have anything that I could breed him with as far as new generations go because they're all related back to him in some way. But this guy is just an absolute stud and I can show you some of the females he's produced or actually geckos he's produced I should say. All of them have the nice little white spots. You can see he produced this male here. He also produced this female here with the white spots. This female here, she doesn't have as many white spots, just a couple but then also this female here as well with the white spots. So if you're looking to produce red phantoms, which a lot of people are right now, this is an absolute tank of a male and an absolutely great deal uh, for $400 in my opinion, just because of the quality of geckos that he can produce. No lineage on him though, unfortunately. I got him as a pair from an unknown breeder, from an unknown source, but that's his only downfall. He's proven many times over, great male right there. Here's a nice little orange blotch gargoyle gecko. This was produced locally to me by someone who doesn't have a page. I do have parent pictures though. They just didn't format well on the website, but this is a very cute little guy with a lot of nice little orange blotches coming in. Another absolutely great deal in my opinion is this male here. Super nice creamy white patterning. Um, let me see if I can get one with his crests. Even going up into his crests, this is just a I love this male. I wish it was a female just because I have so many males. You know, I don't know what I would do with them, but he's just so pretty. I, lo I love this one a lot. Another pinstripe from Tiki's Geckos. This one's a probable male. Um, very nice kind of brownish orange color. Again, with a little bit of cream and some yellow pattern in there. This one's got more of a broken pinstripe, but a pretty cool guy as well. And I actually think that this one is probably siblings or share a parent with the one up here that's a probable female. Because looking at them next to each other, they look so similar. I, I find it hard to believe they're not siblings or something. I just thought that was kind of funny. Another great budget kind of low grade tricolor here. This male is also very pretty as well. He's got a nice cream in there, nice dark base, some bright orange. Just a pretty guy all around. I, I really like him and this one that's $300, which has got a little bit more white and cream. Just beautiful geckos. I really like those two, even though they're male. And finally, down here, we have an extreme Harlequin Dalmatian and a Harlequin Dalmatian. These were from the same breeder that produced the Gargo gecko. I do have parent pictures as well, um, but they just didn't format on the website well, so I didn't put them in the description. But you can message me if you're interested in either of these two or the Gargo gecko. But that's all I have for the summer sale in 2022. I know it's not a whole lot of geckos, um, but I still think there's some really nice stuff and I got some females that you guys have all been waiting for. 
So let me know down below in the comments. What do you think? Some nice geckos? You like anything that you see? Let me know what you think. I'm curious to see a lot of extreme Harlequin stuff this time around. Not so much red, but I promise you I am definitely working on the red stuff uh, for this year and for next year and years to come. I'm going to be hitting the red stuff hard, so I will have more and more of that available as time goes on. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I hope to see you in the next one.